What's going on guys, my name is James Collection. If you're finding me for the first time, I'm both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. It's currently Sunday afternoon as and when I'm recording this. I've only got just shy of 300 quid worth of stuff to package up. Uh, most of it is actually packed. I've got to start doing the labels. Um, the last seven days um, is really bad. It's um, just shy of 400 pounds, which is really, really bad. However, I, I, I could do with just like, adding like you know 24 hours in a day if they could just make that to like 48 hours in a day for just a week that would be perfect because then i can just get everything done so i'm still trying to sort out storage units which i've not been back to in about two weeks because work has just been absolutely manic um yeah it's just been absolutely crazy and there's also uh, quite a few midweek pickups to come uh, towards the end of this video as well so it's slowed down massively uh but yeah it is what it is you can't win them all and um, we've had a couple of good months i've just had a, a nice a nice letter from the tax man wanting some more money which is always heartbreaking uh but yeah it is what it is so uh, i will catch you guys in a bit so we have golden freddy times two 24.99 including postage cost me 10 pounds each so yeah nice money doubler a very nice sale indeed. So this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Shootout playset. Yeah, it's, I got £75 plus £4 postage. If it was in better condition, I would have got the £100 that I was asking for without a shadow of a doubt. There's only one on eBay and it's in Greece. So if you do see these out and about in the wild, it's worth a fair few quid. So yeah, definitely one to be on the lookout for. I think it cost me a couple of quid last year uh, on a Saturday car boot. I think it was about fiver. So yeah, very, very happy with that. Glad it is gone. Fairly uncommon scratch cards. This I sold for eight pounds, including postage. Just to be sent second class signed for in a jiffy bag. Fits perfectly, it won't move. It's penny sleeved, it's top loaded. It will arrive perfectly. Once again, thinning out my personal collection, Vegito Funko Pop number 491, 10 pounds plus four pounds of postage sold a load of xbox 360 games all to individual people not bad what lies beneath a whopping two pound 26 including postage that sugar dvd lasted a day before it sold 4.99 including postage all four teenage mutant ninja turtles fabrications 50 quid i was going to keep them for my personal collection but it doesn't quite suit what i'm going to go for Lego set 76110, £25, well, just under, including postage. Been selling it for quite a while. I think it was bought definitely last year. Maybe if I'm lucky, it was the start of this year. So, yeah, my um, my Lego shelf is looking quite, quite scarce. There is l less than a dozen sets left, and then I will be completely out. US version for the PSP, Need for Speed Underground Rivals. Three or four ninety nine, including postage. Star Wars Funko Pop three four three, Darth Vader with lights and sounds. You know what? I cannot remember how I got hold of this. So if anyone can shed any light, you'd be amazingly helpful. But yeah, twenty four ninety nine, including postage for this one. Really terrible game, as in it doesn't sell particularly well. Rage. Xbox 360, £2.49, including postage. I got this in a bundle in the last couple of weeks, I believe. Sleeping Beauty, three ninety nine, including postage. 12 strong, £5.32, including postage. Really odd pricing, but I just price matched. Okay, so midweek car boot. No, sorry, midweek charity shop haul. Now, you're going to have to bear with me. I've got to try and do a lot of mental maths and remembering as i go along so some of them are really really easy this one was 30 quid should have done more money quite easily paid 30 pounds should get, get between 50 to 80 pounds depending on the current market okay next up is the stationary set thomas the tank engine and friends stationary set brand new and sealed from 1980 something stupid uh it's on this side what is it it is 86. Uh, ignore these DVDs because they're from last week. Uh, we have some boxing 
trainers. These were £7.49. They would be in fairly decent condition, barely used to be honest with you. Uh, then we've got some more trainers. And then we've got, well, that was just the other trainer. Uh, we've got some running trainers. These are Nike Relentless. Again, same price, which was £7, sorry, £8.99. I should be getting about £30 or so. Then these classics, I think it was £3 for the lot. So we've got In Celebration, Shades of Autumn, Tranquility, Music for Summer's Evening, Forces of Nature, Peace, The Magic of Italy, A World of Dreams, An Invitation to Dance, Re uh, Reflections, and Air of Spring. Prices are all over the place, anywhere between sort of 20 and 50 pounds for that. Rally, why did I say it like that? <laughs> 4.99, uh, but it does actually have an old uh, retro style belt on top. Uh, I've seen the, that bell on its own uh, go for a decent amount because obviously it's something that can be used to restore older bikes. Um, what else? Terraria, one pound. <laughs> uh, possibly my favourite pickup of the week, which is one that I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it, keep it, or God knows what else. I paid £30, which is an absolute steal. Current going rate is about 120 brand new and sealed, of which this is. So from the original Toy Story, um, a part of me wants to keep it, but I think for display purposes, I would personally prefer to have one that is mint but unboxed. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, and then these, I think these are pretty much four for a pound. Hence why there's going to be a lot of things in here which weren't worth any money because they're picked up at different stages. So we've got FIFA 13, FIFA 11, Odd World Munchers, Odyssey on the Xbox, Jack 2, Renegade, How to Train Your Dragon, The Reef, Lilo and Stitch, and Lilo and Stitch 2, Disney's Aladdin, that's the new one with Mr. Smith, uh, The Aristocrats, Supersonic, the Love Punch, Atlantis, U Star 2 in the movies, Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, That Sugar Film, Darkest Hour, The Gruffalo, War Horse, 12 Years a Slave, and Captain Phillips. So, yeah, these were all bought at various points throughout the week, hence why there's a lot of duds like mainly those two just there. But yeah, I'll get rid of them one way or another. Next up is a PS3 bundle. I paid £50 for the lot. Uh, Some was off to the RAF um, and he was just getting rid of some of his bits and he's kept uh, a lot of the handheld stuff, which I completely understand. And I think it's kept as a PS4. So um, I did say, look, if you're going to get rid, just give me a shout. So £50, I got a relatively nice boxed PS3. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. It may be in better condition than one that I've got in my personal collection, so I might just swap out. Uh, we've got Call of Duty, World of War, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, and Assassin's Creed Rogue, Gran Turismo 5, Skyrim, The Last of Us, which I presume that's probably spiked at the moment, Battlefield 3, Uncharted 2, Amongst Thieves, sorry, Among Thieves, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, St Stuntman Ignition, Black Ops 2, Genji, uh, Days of the Blade, Prince of Persia, Smackdown vs Raw 2008, Advanced Warfare, Medal of Honor Limited Edition, Destiny, Ghosts and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 3. So yeah, midweek stuff, not bad at all. And there we go, that is absolutely everything. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow is an LED Hulkbuster light kit. Um, where I've got affiliate links in the description below. So if you guys do purchase one of those light kits, it means I get a kickback. Uh, and the chances are there's going to be a car boot haul video on both Wednesday and Thursday as well, because I went to Saturday and Sunday car boots this weekend. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.